I'm on vacation and I am loving life. Happy, happy hour. I'm Dave, the basement bartender. I'm aboard the Disney Wonder, just enjoying life, having a few drinks, which there are plenty of on board. We've been drinking. Ding, 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 ding. So let's take a look at them and get this thing started. So after spending the day walking around in the sun, the last thing I want is a sugary mess. Which tend to be the drink of choice for most people on a cruise ship. I'll have a strawberry daiquiri served in half a coconut with a scoop of lemon sorbet and two umbrellas. Wait, make that three umbrellas. So when I saw a caipirinha on the menu, you better believe I'd be ordering it. Caipirinha is the national drink of Brazil. It's made using cachaca, which is a spirit distilled from fermented sugar. Think of it kind of like rum with funk. <laughs> And it adds so much to this drink. It's light, refreshing, and everything I want. Rum is typically made from molasses, which is a byproduct of the sugar making process. Whereas cachaca is made from fresh sugar cane juice that has been fermented and then distilled. Here's how they made my caprina on the Disney Wonder cruise. Cut a lime into wedges. Add to a shaker with two teaspoons of sugar. Muddle the ingredients. Add ice. And add two ounces of cachaca. Shake for 10 to 15 seconds. And free pour into a rocks glass. Garnish with a lime wheel. And enjoy. Cheers. It's really well balanced, but unlike a mojito, or something made with rum, just a little bit of tin. The shaka adds that the rum wouldn't really have. It's got a really nice lime presence. Sugar is not overwhelming. It's just a really nice, really refreshing drink. Especially if you don't want something heavy with a high sugar content, like a pina colada or the banana caribe. Wait a minute, wait, what'd you just say? Say that again. Of course, if you are craving a high sugar content, maybe something blended, then the banana caribe is a great option. It's a pina colada with Meyer's dark rum and fresh banana. While my wife was not able to detect the banana, I actually get a really strong banana. And it just adds a new dimension to the traditional Pina Colada, which is the normal go-to on cruise ships. It is a little on the sweeter side. So those who normally watch my channel know that's not my typical favorite, but I'm on vacation, so I just go with it. Thanks for watching. Please help out my channel by booping the like button. Subscribe, and let me know in the comments what your favorite cruise ship drink is. Please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time.